Hello and welcome to the session on inequalities. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. First of all, let us understand the difference between an equation and an inequality. Suppose you have x plus 1 is equal to 4. That means x is equal to 3. This is an example of an equation. For an inequality, it would have been x plus 1 is greater than 3, which would mean that x is greater than 2. If you remember in the first case you got a unique answer, in the second case you are getting a range. When you get a range, when the equality sign is replaced with a greater than or a less than sign, that is what an inequation is. Let us take a few examples. Suppose I am given that A is greater than B. The variables that I have used in all these equations are just A, B and K. The examples are being taken considering that all three of them are positive values. Please remember the inequalities change when a negative comes into the picture. So, considering that all of them are positive values, A, B and K, if I am given that A is greater than B, then I raise it to any positive part on both sides, the sign of inequality does not change. If I multiply it with the same number on the both sides, or I divide by the same number on both sides, still the inequality sign does not change. Once again, K has to be positive. If I add the same value to both sides or I subtract the both val same value from both sides, even then the inequality sign does not change. If I take the kth root on both sides, let's say a is greater than b, then square root of a is greater than square root of b. Square root of c. Cube root of a is greater than cube root of b and it remains the same. However, things will change. Things will change when I am multiplying with the negative. If a is greater than b, then minus a will be less than minus b. Example would be 3 is greater than 2, minus 3 is less than minus 2. If I make take the reciprocals, then also the sign would change. Because taking a reciprocal is like taking making the power minus 1. So if A is greater than B, I raise it to a positive power, the sign remains the same. Here I am raising to a negative power and that is the reason why the sign has changed. If you raise both of them to negative powers, then the sign of the inequality changes. Same thing happens when I am multiplying with a negative number as well. Let us talk about inequalities in case of fractions. Let us consider a fraction a by b. k is a positive value. If I add a value to the numerator, the value of the fraction increases. If I remove something from the numerator, the value of the fraction decreases. If I increase the value of the denominator, then also the fraction is bound to decrease. However, if I am reducing the denominator, the overall fraction increases. These might seem obvious to you. But can you tell me what will happen to a fraction a by b if I add the same value to the numerator and to the denominator? Think about it for a while. You may pause the video if you like. It depends upon whether the fraction given to me, that is a by b, is a proper fraction or an improper fraction. If a by b is a proper fraction, in that particular case, the value is bound to increase. However, if a by b is an improper fraction, then the value will decrease. Let us take an example of a proper fraction. A proper fraction would be something of the sort of 1 by 2, numerator lesser than the denominator. I add 1 to the numerator and 1 to the denominator. This becomes 2 by 3. Repeat the process 3 by 4. Repeat the process 5 by 6. So on and so forth. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.66, 0 0.75, 0 0.83. As you can see, the value is increasing in k. Let's take an improper fraction. Say, for example, 3 by 2. If I add 1 to the numerator and 1 to the denominator and keep on repeating the process, I'll get 4 by 3, 5 by 4, 6 by 5, and so on. The value is going from 1.5 to 1.33 to 1.25 to 1.2. As you can see, the value is decreasing. Let us look at how to deal with inequalities in case of a modulus. Suppose I am given that mod of x plus 3 is less than 5. To solve this out, I will have to consider x plus 3 lies in the range of minus 5 to plus 5. Essentially, that is the idea. If my x plus 3 emerges as minus 3, what does that mean? It means mod of that is 3 which is less than 5. So I got the equation x plus 3 lies between minus 5 and 5. I take 3 to the, the 3 to the left hand side it becomes minus 8. 
but since it is 3, I will have to take it to the other side as well and this becomes 2. So if my question is mod of x plus 3 is less than 5, then my answer will be minus 8, x lies between minus 8 and 2. However, if it is mod of x plus 3 greater than 5, then I also I will have to consider two cases. Which two cases? One, the positive value lies more than plus 5. The other, the negative value lies less than minus 5. Or x plus 3 greater than 5 or x plus 3 less than minus 5. In this case, when 3 goes to the other side, I get x is greater than 2. In this case, when 3 goes to the other side, I get x as less than 8. So this will be the solution if the question is mod of x plus 3 greater than 5. That wraps up our session on inequalities. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch videos on other chapters. Thank you.